And um, uh, so I think we have a lot, of, lot to offer. And as you look at America, the trends that we've seen over the last four or five years are trends that are going to continue. Uh, people have been voting very consistently with their feet. Uh, I have not seen some of the other areas that have lost population come to the realization that they need to change course in terms of the policies that they're pursuing. You know, as governor of Florida, I watch elections around the country in the United States because if they go one direction, I know more people are going to move to Florida in response to that. And we've seen that just most recently with Chicago and their mayor election. You know, Chicago used to be one of the greatest cities in, in America. It's had huge problems and there's really major need to go a different direction. And they elect someone that's going to go, that's going to keep going in the same bad direction at an accelerated pace. So all I do is I'll watch and people will start moving out of Chicago and they'll move to places like Naples and other parts of Florida. That will happen. So I think you're going to continue seeing that trend. So just as you look at kind of investing in the United States, I would keep those migration patterns in mind because I think states like Florida, states like Texas, states like Tennessee, Georgia, they're going to continue to be on the receiving end of businesses and wealth moving into their states. And I think the other states that have seen the population hemorrhage, unfortunately, I think they're probably going to see those trends continue because I've not seen a movement necessary to course correct some of the policies that are really driving people out of there. So 